Hi, Scott here, the Poor Prepper. Tonight, I'm going to talk to you about something I've always wondered about. Everybody talks about the freeze-dried food. You can get it from a huge variety of companies, from the internet to Costco to the Mormon's Bishop Warehouse. They even have a Bishop's Warehouse here in Tucson, Arizona. I have a friend who's actually purchased food from there, and he likes it. The problem is, all the freeze-dried food has one thing in common. Bland. No flavor. No spice. Well, tonight I'm going to talk about something that can help you out. Start prepping this stuff, because it, it's not an essential prep. It's something to add that little taste of home after everything else is gone, when the stores are empty and nobody's going anywhere unless they're walking or, you know, making their own biodiesel. This is something that can help you actually help boost your morale and everybody else's who, who participates. Right here, I got me a food grade bucket. And this is all spices. Now, what's in this particular food grade bucket? I got everything is in seal meal bags. All the air is sucked out. So all, this, all these spices are going to stay fresh for a stupid long time but more important all spices will stay fresh for a stupid long time anyway but these are now watertight I could take this entire bucket dump it into a, a lake and all I gotta do is fish out the bags and you know dry off the outside and I'm fine I don't have to worry about it throw your spices in a lake the fish are gonna you know have a good meal now I've got one thing of mesquite seasoning great for Anything you're going to cook, any kind of meat you're going to cook on an open, open, open fire, wood fire, something like that. I got one of those of Hidden Valley Ranch. I can make my own ranch dressing. I've got another bucket with some powdered milk so I can help make the Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. I got chopped onions, spices, lemon pepper. Two of, I got two bags of those. I got two bags of chopped onions, three bags of garlic salt. And when I say bags, I'm just talking... The little 8x, I'd say about 8x12, only maybe half full. And that's what I'm talking about. Lowry season salt, three of them. Brown gravy, two of them. Brown gravy, a lot of people are like, what are you doing? Brown gravy's great. You, you make some, uh, either use water or I prefer to use beef broth. Add after the meat and all that stuff's in there and cooked. <clears throat> Add a little brown gravy. Stir it, mix it. And keep adding it a little bit at a time until it hits the consistency you like. I like a semi-thick gravy. And by the time you get all, all enough in to get it to the thickness you like, it is tasty. I got five granu bags of granulated garlic, eight bags of just plain old table salt. So what do I do? Into the bucket. Now, this lid, cheap one from Walmart. It's going to be going away. I'm going to get an actual good watertight lid. This is not a good watertight lid. It's just something I'm using for the time being. The problem is you stack more than, let's say, four buckets on these. Put that lid on and stack four, like four buckets. And if they all have that lid, eh, you got a good chance of the whole thing just toppling over. So I don't like that. I'm going to get a different lid. One thing, Amazon.com. Or, well, these are organic. I, I don't care if it's organic or not, but cinnamon sticks. Each one about a, as long as my finger, say two to three inches. And there's over a hundred to this bag. A 16 ounce bag, one pound. That is a stupid large number of cinnamon sticks. Next time I start doing a uh, bucket of spices, I'm going to do these. Probably five, six to a, a zip, uh, seal meal bag and into long term storage. What's this good for? Put it in your oatmeal. Put it in your soup. Put it in your potatoes. Put it in coffee. And it can go in so many things and add a good flavor and actually help boost some morale and give you a taste of home. One of my favorites, M&Ms. Just plain old M&Ms. If you like peanut M&Ms, do those. I prefer plain old M&Ms. Now I go to the Costco, buy the ginormous bag of them, and I can fill up uh, three, maybe almost four of these. What I do, you see, hear that? It's solid. I have I vacuum sealed this entire thing so that this jar 
I almost called it a bag, sorry. This jar is going to last a long time. Two months ago, I opened one, I opened one that I had sealed at the same time I sealed this. Those were as fresh as the day I put them in, and this jar was sealed on November 2nd of 2014, over five years ago, and they're still as fresh as could be. This is going to be gold. When the morale's really low, break out a jar. You don't have to break out a big quart jar. You can put them in little pint jars. Break out a jar, pass them around, everybody gets some M&Ms, it boosts morale. And morale is going to be important to any group. If you lose morale, you're going to end up giving up, or just not giving a damn. Then you're going to end up giving up. This right here, salt and vinegar powder. They took, I'm not sure how they do it, I'm assuming some type of liquid, like vinegar, add salt to it, then freeze dry it. And after all the liquid's gone, they just grind it up into a powder. I throw this on potato chips, so I have salt and vinegar potato chips. Mm-mm-mm. Yummy. Throw this on french fries. Throw this on any potato. You could probably throw it on steak if you want it. I don't know. It tastes good. I've never tried it. And I would not try it on an expensive steak. But it works great on fries. Any potato. I'm going to be buying more of these off Amazon.com. That's where I got this one. This is Chef's Fun Foods Salt and Vinegar, no MSG. This bottle is 12 ounces. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I considered it a good deal. Now, I'm going to be putting probably half, half of one of these into a Ziploc, into a sealer meal bag and into storage, and figured six ounces per. That, that way, you, let's say you want to take some potatoes, chop them up, Cook them up, throw some of this on. Everybody has some good old-fashioned salt and vinegar fries. This I just found on Amazon.com. This is incredible. I didn't know anybody made it. Thank you, Amazon.com. This true lemon, lemon, powdered lemon juice. Powdered lemon juice. God bless America. I like lemonade. When everything, when... Teotihuacan happens, stores are empty, everybody's bugged out when we're eating bland food. I'm not going to be eating bland food, but a lot of you are. This here says four teaspoons will give you half a cup of lemon juice. Four teaspoons and half a cup of water, you got half a cup of lemon juice. Well, guess what? Eight teaspoons gives you a cup of lemon and a cup of water, that's a cup of lemon juice. One cup of sugar to that and a quart of water, you got yourself lemonade. And it's any any lemonade made from real lemon juice is the best lemonade out there. Country time, you're good lemonade, but you're just not up to real lemon lemonade. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to get this, but I suggest you do because it is going to be yummy. I'm even thinking about sprinkling some of this on some barbecued chicken. I'll let you know how that turns out. Now, if you guys have any questions, please uh, contact Poor Prepper 13, that's Poor Prepper 13 at gmail.com, and I will answer you. You guys have a good night. Bye bye.